So yeah, we will read eight eight uh, last paragraph eight uh, mm -hmm. eight, eight uh, page. Yes. Uh, why does Shila Raguna does Goswami pray to Shila Rupa Goswami? So I open, uh, sorry, main channel Japanese translation is going on like uh, another time. Okay. Uh, Gabba san, could you translate back straight, back uh, channel? Okay. Could you? Oh, she's okay. 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 Japanese translation is backside now. Just going on in English, please. Mm. Thank you. Shri Swarup Damodar is Lalita Devi. And therefore, in higher rank than Rupa Goswami, who is Rupa Manjari. Yet, Raghunath does praise only to Rupa Goswami. Why? It is because he does not want to be an Aika, beloved heroine of Krishna, like Lalita and Vishaka. So, Sniti Didi, so Jananda Maharaj also explained here. What um, could you explain about Naika? Yes. Thank you. Actually, here this is the paragraph where we find the whole explanation, if you want to read it, in your home in verse 16 of Vilapa Kushmanjali. And uh, Jainanda Maharaj was just explaining what is the difference between a Naika and a Manjari. In a simple way, the Naikas are the gopis who are bigger than the Manjaris. They are like uh, Lalita, Vishaka, Chitra, Champakalata. The elder ones who also can have their own relationship to Krishna, independent, if you know, like a girlfriend of Srimati Radhika. So, but uh, Raghunathas, he is uh, Rupa Nuga. He is uh, following fully in the footsteps of Rupa Manjari, and they are very small servants of Srimati Radhika, and they only want to serve in this way that they don't think about meeting Krishna even in their dreams, it is always said. Hmm? So this verse, if you want to study it and read it, in Vilapakus Manjali 16 is very, very good. So when you hear this, always read it again at your home in your time, when you have the time, because this subject is very dear also to Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj. He always reads this with us again and again. And uh, 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 Jainanda Maharaj, he explained also that the Naikas, the, the heroines or the lovers, they are like a queen. He, he used this word queen, no? I think so. So just to show that they have a higher position than the Manjaris, who are the, the servants of... Shimati Radhika, and they are very young, usually maybe around 11. Very girlish and very sweet and very 
innocent, childlike. Is that okay? Yes, very beautiful. We can continue then, because I mean, this subject, you can talk long time, but actually I find it more interesting for us because we are practicing Manjari bath. What is the Manjari? And that is explained now. Mm, finally, Manjari bath will come. Yes, finally, <laughs> we have been waiting. <laughs> yeah. No. Hey, Radhe Radhe Gora Chandaji, you also there? Yeah, I've been there. Good. We are I turning was there some. From the beginning, but uh, I thought my internet not working. What probably is Vrindavan? No? Yeah, it's Vrindavan. Okay. We Let's are see. waiting, and in, the, in that time, we want to hear something. No, that is a good good idea of Kishori yeah. and Antaka. I always want to hear. Uh. Yeah, this is the day of the week today, I think. Mm. Let's go. Okay, we proceed. <clears throat> so, Tamal Krishna Maharaj said he wants to be in Manjari Bhava. And Narayan Maharaj says, <laughs> <laughs> the Manjaris tremble because they are overjoyed. I don't know if the internet will sustain it. So we have Similarly, the, the Krishna B comes to Sri Matira. She glances at him, and the two engage in loving pastimes. They love Although that bee, Krishna bee, does not sit on the manjari, the manjari trembles, feeling as if the bee is sitting on her. Whatever the flower experiences in those pastimes manifests in the mandari, shows itself in the mandari. So, okay, here's the cut again. So, maybe we can read uh, books, then we can cut the line. Mm. Yes. They were already uh, in the second paragraph on the ninth page. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. uh, Narayan Maharaj, only Manjari Bhava. Why? Uh, what is a manjari? We have heard about lotus manjaris and mango manjaris. In fact, many creepers and good flowers have manjaris. The manjari appears first and then the flower. And the manjari is always located above the flower. Radhe Radhe, Jaiho, beautiful. We're, we're doing parallel reading here. <laughs> Radhe. <laughs> a hero here. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what to do? Andakaji? Yes. 
So sh shall we switch back to Vrindavan? <laughs> yes, yes, switch back to Vrindavan. We are, <laughs> we are waiting for you. <laughs> Sorry, Tan. I, I made you the host now. So can you do the spotlighting? Because we are just using one device now. We are in your hands. You have to guide now. Thank you. Seems like, if you say so. <laughs> Where's Jananda Maharaj? Ah, they are using only one. Only one. Okay, ah, I understand yeah, yeah. the okay, system. Okay. And now, Sneeti Didi also sharing. Nice sharing. Thank you. Okay. Okay, this is Sneeti. Yeah, please share. Sneeti. Sorry, we were just. Uh, uh, we were just trying to do some, also some listening be, because we could not hear you, but we want to hear you. So now, oh, 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 so, can you hear? Yes, now we can hear. We can hear. So, <coughs> so here mentioned Manjari and Saki. Narayan Maharaj said, Saki is like flower, already opened it. <coughs> But manjari is not yet open fully. So if we see Torasi, is opening in from down to up. So, and the upper place is not the flower yet, like a person, but it's not open yet. Close yet. Yes. Like a lady, the flower is not Like a lady, like for lady, mature lady. I don't know which age mature, like, a, like 18. Say like 15 or maybe 18. Like lady's body is fully open, means fully, you know, fully like uh, face very beautifully. But the same is not fully manifest, <laughs> like uh, 11 years, 12 years, even 13. They are very beautiful, but uh, not much. So yes, Jainanda Maharaj is explaining the difference actually in the ages and the maturity of between the Mandaris and the Sakis. We had the same explanation. The Sakis are more mature. They are also quite young, maybe 13, like Srimati Radhika is only 14, actually. But of course, they are transcendental in their ages. It's not the material age. But sometimes we use this example to come to some comparison. So we can imagine that the boundaries are like the small buds, not open, not mature. They are small. They like to serve Shimati Radhika. And this is the whole meditation. They are not interested in association with Krishna, only up to what Srimati Radhika gives them orders.
Mm. But like uh, they were reading now also, when the Krishna bee comes to the flower, Shimatiratika, because the bud or the the small mandaris are always close and connected to Shimati Radhika, they can feel everything, but they feel. They feel the excitement, they feel their ecstasies, they feel every little feeling that Shimati Radhika feels when the Krishna bee is coming. And we know when the bee is going on the flower, then the flower is shaking sometimes left and right and up and fro and down. So these are the feelings that they are exchanging. And the mandri feels the same. She is fully uh, connected by feelings of bhav. So there's no need, that's why he also explained, Gurudev Narayan Maharaj, no need for the bee to go to her. She feels everything. She is fully satisfied with serving according to the mood, what they need before they meet or after they meet. She is only in this mood of service. Maybe some of you want to say something. Yeah, just beautiful. So that is also the speciality, actually, that... Uh, we have an hour at the moment where we take birth now as Lord Chaitanya is not so far away and he came to give the special path this will not Uchwala path or like later on it's Bhava Ulasarati explained this is that uh, the mandris they get the whole mercy of what Radha and also Krishna feel without having to do any, uh, you know, anything to do with Krishna. <laughs> that is their mercy. <laughs> they are even so strong, and that is the speciality. When Krishna comes and needs their help, not like Shimati Radhika, sometimes she has a mood when she doesn't want to see him. She is in man, in this loving anger. And then the mantras, they can even say no. You cannot go in now. Nobody else could do that. They are so strong in their mood to Shemati Radhika's service that they can resist Krishna's sweet voice, Krishna's sweet flute, Krishna's sweet eyes, and Krishna's sweet lips. They have this strong nishta. To Shimati Radhika's love. And that is unexpected. That makes them so special. And also, they are so fully satisfied in their services, they have no separate desire to enjoy anything. Because they feel everything that Shimati Radhika feels, they are fully satisfied. They are fully in Mahabhav when she is in Mahabhav. You remember that verse from Vilapa Kusmanjali when uh, Krishna is putting uh, peacock feathers in Shimati Radhika's hair. No? Exchanging. Yeah, they, they exchange their roles in this Leela. Is like yeah. they come so much into oneness, into the feeling of each other. That's called Prema Vilas Vivata, that they exchange their roles and they don't know now, am I Krishna or am I Radhika? Both of them feel each other so much that 
they have fully, you know, Krishna is making uh, like the peacock feather in Shimati Radhika's hair and he's feeling like uh, Radhika. And even the manjaris now, they are only there to serve them. They don't know who is who themselves. <laughs> they don't know who is who. And that is the highest, highest limit of, of prem, of <laughs> Mahabhav. And this is happens when Lord Chaitanya was holding the hand in the mouth of Ramananda Roy. Mm. No? Mm. That is the highest, the highest, the limit of their uh, ecstasy in their meetings that they become so much absorbed that they become one again. And what happens in this oneness? They lose perception of their personalities. Radha and Krishna again become one and they become Gauranga. Mm -hmm. And then they come here to us and this golden, golden color of Srimati Radhika is so much prominent that she is just distributing this manjari bath. Because this feeling of oneness is so strong and they want to give it, they want to share it. Especially Srimati Radhika because she loves her manjari so much. We are so lucky that we are here now at this time, that we can uh, receive it from our Gurudev, from our Guru Devi. That's why it is so special when they become one and they forget who they are and they become one again in Gauranga, in this golden, golden form. And that form only is giving this Mandari bath. No other, no other yuga, no other incarnation. Nobody else is giving this. And uh, we have heard uh, that this only happens once in a lifetime of Brahma. So this is very, very rare that, that we can now be here in this time, in our lifetimes. Wow. <laughs> It's very special. Is that really special? And I feel uh, to to have this consciousness of the speciality of Mahaprabhu's mercy in this time is always good to remember. Oh, now I can I can uh, feel this. I can I can also be part of it. And Gurudev wants nothing else but that we have these feelings. He wants to give these feelings to us. But of course, our hearts must be open. We have to have an open um, container of, of receiving this. It's a special, special mercy we have. And also, yeah, Anakaji, you want to continue this reading? Mm -hmm. Yes. So when a bee comes to sit on the flower and drink its honey, the manjaris tremble, being overjoyed. Similarly, the Krishna bee comes to Srimati Radhika. She glances at him and the two engage in loving pastimes, Prema Vilasa. Although that bee does not sit on the manjari, the manjari trembles, feeling as if the bee is sitting on her. Whatever the flower experiences in those pastimes manifests in the manjari. So there is no need 
for the bee to go to her. Manjari. She automatically feels everything felt by the flower. If the bee kisses the flower, then seeing this, the manjari feels the bee has kissed me. Yes, right. And this we can hear and uh, meditate also in Vilapkus Manjali, first verse, right? Yes. Hmm. We are so lucky that we uh, get all the mercy of reading Vilapakus Manjali with our Guru Devas. And in the first verse, the introduction that uh, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami as Tulasi Manjari is giving, is that he says to Rupa Manjari, Oh, I heard you are such a chaste girl. Means you don't ever look at other men. And your husband has gone out cow herding today. So I wonder where you get this cut on your lips. Has this maybe be done by the best of parents? <laughs> so this is the one of the most wonderful and astonishing verses also of Vilapa Kushmanjali. Why? Because here this is a secret revealed. In Vrindavan, in eternal Vrindavan, in the spiritual Goloka Dham, the Mandaris, they have also so-called husbands. But mm. these husbands are also kind of like Abhiman, are they called? They are like, like a Leela imagination. They have no relationships with these husbands. Like Srimati Radhika also never has a relationship with Ani, Abhimanyu. But for the Leela, they are feeling like this and they also go home and they give like some service for the family. They have to milk the cows. But when they when they go and serve Srimati Radhika and Krishna in the Kunj, because they are so much in oneness, when Krishna is kissing Srimati Radhika and some sign is coming on her lips, then also Rupa Manjari is getting this. And then what happens when Rupa Manjari, she is such a good friend of, of Rati Manjari, she feels, oh, my friend also should see this nectar. Where is she? Where is she? Is she maybe somewhere engaged somewhere else? She could not come today to the Kunj. So she goes out and she is looking for her. That is the real friend. The real friend wants to share everything, the nectar, like sometimes we get some Maha Prashara from Gurdi. And then we want, oh, I want that Kishori also get some peace. And Annaka <laughs> also. And everyone should get a peace. <laughs> Why? Because yes. we feel that mm, relishing this Prashadam together is a more higher taste <laughs> than just hiding in the corner. And, oh, I want a Prashadam. But better that they also get this higher taste. And so also Manjaris, when they have a higher taste of meeting, when Radha and Krishna meet in secret, they want to ask their good friends, please come, come, come. Let us share together this nectar of their exchange. Come quickly. And within the a second, they are there together. Yeah. And uh, this is beautiful. Na, Kishori? Yes, one thing comes to my heart. Can I say? Sure, please, always say. Yeah. So, yeah, Gurudev always gives us pressure to share this taste. This prasada already have nectar of Radha Mohan. Yes. With Gurudev's nectar also. 
means not only nectar. Why Mahamaha Prasadam is tasty is tuttomo. They have, they contain love of Gurudev. Yes, also, yes, Maha, Maha, Maha. And means, Maha, Maha, Maha means more prasadam, more prasadam, more prasadam. This sharing, sharing mood is more love, more love, more love. So yes. we, we go to more boredom, we get more love. Yes. And the more kisses are in there, the more sweet the prasadam is, na? Because Gurudev always says it's a flying kiss. So when Radha and Mohan are giving each other their kisses of prasad, and then Guru Mandri is giving this kiss also and is relishing, and we are relishing again, and whoever is in the end of the line has the most relish. <laughs> yeah. And one day, maybe this Wednesday devotee sharing, so maybe Croatian and devotee says, sorry, I forgot the name, but they said, this prasada, from this prasada, we get feeling Baba. Yes. Yes. Then this uh, feeling is more stiffness, more strong. So go to down, and this taste is more thing, like uh, complete. complete. Yeah, it's more intense, and it's more condensed, yeah. exactly. That is the speciality, because this taste of prasadam, what it does, it will make in our hearts one deep impression, like a memory or something, and that we will never forget. And that is important that we have these deep memories and we take them in our hearts. So all the old memories from old, you know, life, from our old life, they can, can go out and the new memories, the new flying kisses of Prashad can stay there and be full, 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 full. <laughs> and then always we can remember and be in this uh, floating in this mood. Yeah. So uh, last year we have wedding ceremony in Mungere Mandir. At that time we talked what is most important. Then our conclusion is prasada. <laughs> because because actually guests easily forget what is dress, what is ceremony, but we never forget the taste of prasada. <laughs> this pakora is nice. <laughs> this alpalata is nice. That's I why remember. Very intense memories are easy to <laughs> come to heart and memory. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Isn't it powerful? <laughs> And the Japanese devotees uh, who went to Mungir Manji Mandir, they said, what is a good memory then? They said, oh, I remember cafe latte with good day. <laughs> 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 this is a world of class cafe latte like this. <laughs> this is uh, our Mungir Mandir way. We are always full of Prasad, feast, always eating, eating. But this is the best way. Sadhu Maharaj knows when. Yes. Yes, we were also like this. When we came back uh, to Germany and we meet also with Vajeshwari, who was also there at that time, we have so much separation. We start to buy this bagel bread and Philadelphia cheese with the <laughs> marmalade. And then... <laughs> We uh, in the, every morning we make a toast and then we say, "Oh, it was so nice to eat this with Gurudev." I remember he was uh, giving me half of his bagel with the cream cheese and the and the uh, uh, strawberry jam. Oh, yes, so oh yes, my so. God, that uh, that makes you feel connected again. <laughs> <laughs> Prasadam is easy and the best way. That's why in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, all readers almost yeah. connected to Prasadam. 
<laughs> it is so, it is so. And good if that is why he always wants to give. And if he cannot give, he is very, awesome. very sad. He is not in his, uh, in his uh, <laughs> feeling every bite again. Sharanagat is writing. When he cannot give this prashad, he feels something is lacking. Na? Sorry. And all oh, sometimes we are the not feeling well. Then we have to say, "Oh, my belly is full," or I have to be mm -hmm. careful. Then good is yeah. very like not so satisfied. Mm. <laughs> G -g -g <-h> Daddy, <laughs> sorry, yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Good day, missing Sharanagati is cappuccino. You should go to make him. Captino. <laughs> then, so Radarani cannot taste her prasadam, of course, but Manjati can taste Mohans and Radas. Then, Guru Manjaris, our Elder Manjaris. So, who can taste more nice one? <laughs> yes, that is it. Thank you. These oh, are the collections of our jewels in the heart. And they they connect us that we uh, will never forget. We can't forget Vrindava because it's so tasty. Yes. In fact, the manjari tastes something special that even flour does not taste. In the sense that the flour does not tremble as the manjari does. Similarly, the maid servants of Srimati Radhika experience a pleasure in being her maid servant, which she herself does not experience. And that pleasure is called Bhava Ulasa Rati. Jai Ho. Radhe. One of Gurudev's favorites, uh, favorite words, uh, the Bhava Ulasarati. Gora Chanta, you want to explain? Please Me. bless us with some of your memories and some of your prashad. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Wow, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, this is one of the most beautiful description of the Bhavula Sarati. <laughs> so condensed what Narayan Maharaj is saying here. First of all, we can understand the difference between material and spiritual. In the material world, we cannot feel, we cannot have the same experience like our friend has when she is with her lover. I'm talking, no? Mm -hmm. So, therefore, in the material world, everybody wants to enjoy himself to get the highest uh, pleasure. But here in the spiritual world, we, and we can see that by being the Manjari and the Radharani, they experience such a oneness that the same feelings that Radharani experienced with Krishna, 
the manjari also can experience. That on the spiritual level, we experience the oneness. In the material, our senses, our mind, our body cannot have the same experience because it's material. But on the platform of the soul, we are all one. We are all connected with each other. So that is already very astonishing that the Manjari has such a closeness with Radharani that she can feel exactly the same what she feels. And then the Manjari, she can also feel what Krishna is feeling because Radharani can feel what Krishna is feeling. Same, there's also the oneness with Radharani that makes the Manjari feel what Krishna is feeling. So the Manjari is feeling what Krishna is feeling. The Manjari is feeling what Radharani is feeling. The Manjari is feeling what they both are feeling when they have their loving exchange. And now what Narayan Maharaj is saying, it's the Bhavu Las Rati. She also experienced unlimited happiness by her feeling of being a maidservant of Srimati Radhika. That is something that even Radharani cannot experience. And this uh, Narayan Maharaj writing in just half of a page of this small book. What Guru Dev saying always, that is like the Bhagavad Gita of Raga Nuga Bhakti or Rupa Nuga Bhakti. So whenever you need some nectar, then you read that and then you go in the feelings and Make your desire stronger to be a Manjari of Srimati Radhika. Wow. Radhe Radhe. Jai Ho, very nice. Kanai, you are also here. You are back in uh, Austria. I was feeling you were still in Mongolia, Bandi. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm back in Austria since one week now. It's so nice to listen to you. Can I buy a big hug, my dear? I big hug? You. <laughs> Missing you. Okay. <clears throat> Srila Raguna Das Goswami wanted to be a manjari, not a flower. In other words, he did not want Sakhi Bhava the mood of Srimati Radhika's friends like Lalita and Vishaka who have direct relationships with Sri Krishna. Herein lies the specialty of the Manjaris. In our Sampradaya, no one wants to be Sri Radhika's Saki. They only want to be her kinkari. Are you totally understanding my words? 
Do you know the meaning of the word kinkari? Tamal Krishna Maharaj, servant, Narayan Maharaj, maid, servant. Yeah, oh, sorry, Madhava Maharaj. Maid Madhava Maharaj, yeah. Yeah. Narayan Maharaj. There is no equivalent word in English for kinkari. It is such a beautiful Sanskrit word inferring something very soft, fragrant, and so sweet. We cannot learn these topics simply by reading books. No book will clarify these truths for you as well as our discussion in this conversation. By discussing with me in this way, you can obtain more than what you can ever obtain by only reading books. Wow, huh? This is a very nice uh, ecstatic point because we can see that uh, our position is so lucky nowadays <laughs> <laughs> because we can we go to our Gurudev and uh, he is explaining all the details and uh, it's unbelievable how lucky we are that he is giving all of this to us. Because at yeah. that time, now maybe uh, 20, well, yeah, almost 20 years ago, the disciples of Srila Prabhupada, they cannot even, even understand what is going on, really. <laughs> because they did not know that... Uh, our Srila Gurudev is also a manjari. They just come to ask because they, they, they wanted to make some progress in Raga Bhakti. But maybe they have not realized who is talking to them, who is explaining to them. And so he is so bold that he even says that with this discussion, you get more as if you try to read Vilapa Kusmanjali by yourself or Radhara Sudhanidhi or Raghavat Machandrika. Why? Because I can give you the feelings. I can give you my heart. And as we know, as the history was writing, very many could not even understand it or could go deeper with that. They cannot, they did not develop so much greed. They developed some little greed to listen more, but then the institutional, institutional pressure became so big that they cannot follow more to listen. They cut also, they got cut it. But here we have so much good fortune that now, in this time, there is this, you know, this chance for us to listen in a very free way. We are not, uh, there is nobody in between. There is no institution who says you cannot do this. No, but we can listen and we can get it from heart to heart. And I feel so lucky, so lucky, because I can still see how in other places, this is not so possible because there's many places where devotees cannot speak about Manjari Bhav. Very many places. Still nowadays, we mm. could say. No? So we are very lucky. I feel so lucky. I cannot tell you how lucky I feel. And also here Gurudev says, our Srila Gurudev Narayan Maharaj says, that this personal association is so much more valuable than just reading the books means I need somebody who has the feelings 
in their heart. And not only this, they like to share these feelings into my heart, into my little small heart. Oh, this is so special, no? So, so, so special. Really. Amazing. I can just say that uh, when I remember this, how our Srila Gurudev, he was also giving a lot, but they didn't even want to receive it. <laughs> they didn't like to, you know, continue with this because they had some problems in the institution. But nowadays we are getting it freely in the small little cave of Mungeraj Mandir. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we are lucky. We are very lucky. <sighs> Nade, sorry for getting carried away. <laughs> may may I um add something to this? Uh, so just a little thought. Please can I? Um it's also very special because in the scriptures actually is not written anything about manjaris. Even in Chaitanya Chaitamrita is not really deeply mentioned about it. Only if you can go through the Goswamis, they explain these details and through their books, means like all through realizations of sadhus, only you get this information and realizations. So it's actually very difficult through Shastras to to get to know about uh, Manjari Bath and Manjaris at all, <laughs> because it's so hidden, is a uh, rahasya, no? It's very secret, very mm -hmm. big secret. And uh, in Chaitanya Jaitamrita, it's open that more about Radhika, but still Manjari is little hidden. Yes. But the Goswamis, they share this gift with all of us. So it means that uh, only by self-realization, by meditating and by practicing and by Sadhu Sangha, we, we can get close to this. It's not that you can get this through any book like this. It's not possible. I have a question to everyone. So, here in this book we are reading and Narayan Maharaj, he explaining to the gurus of ISKCON. He opened that. We are also reading first time in this book. He not speak openly about that. So from Gurudev, we listen always also that the speaker is dependent also on the audience. He only he can reveal if the audience has some greed or has some qualification to listen to these subjects. So my question is, is our Gurudev just overwhelming merciful that he shared that with us so deeply? Or have we all, also we are new beginners, we have some qualification for that? How is possible? Nobody in Japan listened before about that. Now they they immediately listen about the highest thing. Is it unconditional love? Is it mercy only? Or bring they already the qualification to listen there? Because here Narayan Maharaj, very hardly, ne? he opens that and tries to make the point. And he understands also how difficult for them is to, to slowly get it in. And we just jumping in that flow of Gurudev sharing with us all the time. So that is my question.
Maybe so. This is not enough answer, but one thing come to my heart is a、uh, few years ago, I heard one story from p r a m a d v e d i Maharaj. And he predicted now Bhakti Devi come in Japan. We heard it. And after we shared this, we shared this Sadhu Maharaj, our Gurudev. Then Gurudev confirmed it. That's true. And again and again, Gurudev said, now some special mercy flows to Japan. But actually, I think not、uh, only from only Japan. Because, you know, now, Prema Yuga come, 2013, something like that. Or maybe something like that.、Nah? So, maybe, so, many miracles will happen, this Prema. Because our good name, Sadhu Maharaj, is our Dutta. <laughs> <laughs> and full of love. This morning in Japan, have one Zoom Sangha. At that time,、uh, no, no, last night maybe,、uh, our Rasa Madri Didi shared one story from Sadhu Maharaj. One problem Sadhu Maharaj h a d What is the problem Sadhu Maharaj has is he can't stop love anyone. Even though who criticized him, but was towards him, but he can't stop love everyone. This is his problem. We are not sure we have qualification or not. We, I don't, in my case, I don't have this eye. But this is definitely this special mercy c o m e from our Gurudev and Prema Yuga. Beautiful. Thank you, Kishore Didi. Jai Abaduta Gurudev. Yes. I think、yeah, also when I, when I、uh, think about it,、um, that the mercy is becoming more and more condensed、no? somehow. And Srimati Radhika is opening up herself more and more for those who are willing and eager to go in her service because our Srila Gurudev always said that. Gurdiv will give, he will give, you know. So the, the Akanda Guru Tattva is never, never stopped, and we have to be greedy. We have to be very, very greedy and always believe in this that s h r i m a t i Radhika is coming through her different servants, and it's actually a never ending thing. But one story I want to share also that I remember maybe 10 years ago. I was listening uh, 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 our Gurudev, Sadhu Maharaj, and I was also listening Prem Prayojan at that time.、Nah? These were the old times when Gurudev was traveling in Europe. So, and I was a little bit confused because we were in one festival where they both would speak. And then、uh, at one point, I had to ask Prem Prayojan, I said, You were always speaking about how we have to do s a d h a n and we have to be perfect and we have to be very,、uh, you know, following everything and we have to chant 64 rounds or whatever. You are more stressing this,、uh, you know, our endeavor. But when I listen to Sadhu Maharaj, he always says that we are the, we, are, we can give the mercy and it's、uh, all about love and then. You know, how, how can I reconcile this?、Huh? It seems to be、uh, like a different story. 
of your both approaches to, to how to reach prema or bhakti. And then I got a very nice answer that uh, I will never forget, which is also very true. He said, uh, Sadhu Maharaj, he is like a very old and big tree and very full of fruits. So I remember I, I was thinking maybe of like a apple tree or a, of a, a pear tree. And he says when the or mango tree and when the fruits are very ripe and very, very juicy, then the tree, uh, the, the arms, uh, the branches will hang down. And everybody who is under this tree, they just have to lie there and open their mouth and the mango will fall down and you don't even have to cut it because it will open and it smells so good. <laughs> you will be just receiving the mercy of this nectar fruit tree who is so full and ripe and ready to give everything. And he said, and me, Pray Prayojan was giving this answer. I'm just a very small tree. I just got planted and my, my branches are very tight and I just walk, I, I just grow straight up. I have to be, I am a, I try to be a guru. I try to teach disciples the ABC. And I like this example because it is very practical. We can see that the teachers have different, different uh, uh, generosity and how to give what they have to give and they want to give, like you said, Kishori. Right? So I always try to see our Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj like a big fruit tree, like a big mango tree. Full of, uh, you know, and if you come close to him, you smell it already. It's like you are overwhelmed by the sweetness of the yeah. smell. <laughs> <laughs> and you cannot resist. Uh, and then the sweetness of this smell makes you so uh, crazy. You, you, you get uh, intoxicated uh, by this prema. <laughs> and then you can only lie down and open up your mouth. <laughs> or even sleep. Or sleep. You can Radhe, Radhe. You can lay down under this tree and sleep, <laughs> and the fruits will. <laughs> yeah, because this nectar is get honey. Fruit. So nice. Yeah. Yes. There's also they sing in the song, no? Jai Jai Shri Guru Prema Kalpataru. He is a wish fulfilling Kalpataru tree, no? Hundred percent. Yeah. The fruits are overripe. They intoxicate <laughs> even more. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Guru always says mercy is there, no? But we we our cups, we have cups and they have holes, so we cannot receive it. Even if we receive it, it's licking immediately. So <laughs> Yes, mercy is always there if you are capable to hold it. <laughs> Very nice point, yes. Thank you for everyone. It's too nice, but in Japan over 10 p.m. Yes, yes, thank you for your good idea, uh, Kishori, that uh, Andaka, that we share anyway. We don't become sad and click off our phones, uh, I mean our Zoom conference. I think it's too much mercy flowing in Vrindavan right now. That's why internet is also exploding. <laughs> All the, you know, I was just shortly, I, I, I exchanged with Go Gopinath this morning. And I said, how is it now? And he said, yeah, all the Russian devotee came to get today. And now all the also devotees from uh, Croatia came and so much intense mercy now. And I hope uh, tomorrow we can listen more. And I'm looking forward. Please, all of you, if you can come also tomorrow morning is always very special. It's a little early. It's uh, seven o'clock. Zoom here, but it's great. 
Yes, Govinda Mohini, you will see you tomorrow morning and all the great Vaishnavas there. <laughs> thank you for sharing all and thank you for inspiring us, Kishori and Andaka. Go I will and Andaka tomorrow morning. Yes. <laughs> we have a meeting tomorrow. We meet tomorrow. Oh. Okay, you will also have a meeting. Therefore, Kishori, she must go to sleep now. She has to receive us tomorrow. <laughs> she has a big program tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so nice. Yeah, we, we can easily get sweet dreams this evening. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Sade. Let's go see you, Rade, Rade. See you next time. Jai Shri Radhe Dandava to all Vaishnavas. That's it. Jai Shri Radhe. Radhe Radhe.